We get the ID Tech X show here at Verdantec, and uh, who are you? My name is Andy Ed. I'm uh, with Verdantec, and what Verdantec is is we are a uh, sales representative for two uh, very interesting companies. For one from Sweden, which is dry phase patterning, and, and uh, the, this is uh, DP patterning. Is what it means. Dry yes, phase. Dry what phase does that mean? patterning. What it means is alternatively to uh, chemical etching. Yeah. Yep. Alternative to chemical etching. You would use a, um, a cutting wheel to remove material selectively from a laminate, much like this one here. So you start with a flexible metal laminate. In this case, it's a um, aluminum that's been coated with copper. So you can solder to it. So you can use the uh, dry face patterning to make antennas or LED arrays very easily and inexpensively. And we have a, a demonstration of that here. We have a coil and an LED array made by DP Patterning. And so if you place this over a, a, a cheat charger, you'll see that the LEDs light up. So uh, what's the advantage of doing it this way? The advantage is to uh, a, a number of things. One is, and first and foremost, is to uh, uh, save uh, money on your uh, devices, essentially. The other is to uh, shorten your lead times. A lot of uh, PCB shops are even printing as, as a multiple steps that are needed to do the process. And so if you, if you compress it to a single step with DP patterning, you can make parts within half an hour or less. And you can do these parts not just in small volumes, but you can do them in uh, you know, several hundred meters to kilometers of material. To kilometers. So yes. what kind of machine do you have right now to do all this? The machine is um, it's a roll-to-roll -roll equipment, and it, it consists of an unwinder, a, uh, a cutting, a cutting wheel, and a rewinder. And so okay. that that one is uh, goes up to 350 millimeter in width. So it's very compatible with SMT, a surface mount technology process, and all sorts of other things. Um, but yeah, where is that based? Sweden. It is based in Sweden. Yes. And, and the, what's the other one you have? The other one is the uh, film manufacturer, Anita Coatings. And where are they based? They are based in Israel. And uh, what's special about them? They make the uh, copper-coated aluminum. So what's special about that is it is very inexpensive alternative to, um, to a copper laminate, which is very common with printed circuit boards. Uh, however, if you want to solder to aluminum, you need to have something in intermediate layer between the aluminum and the and the um, and the solder. So that, that would be the copper layer. And so what they do is they take an aluminum laminate like this, and they would run it through the uh, a chamber where a vapor deposition would occur. And then in the end, you're left with with a, um, a laminate. Now you can machine with dry phase patterning, and you can make your coils and your LEDs. So, um, is there a lot of customers right now mm -hmm. for this, or? It's, it's growing, for sure. We're definitely a startup, but um, there's, a, there's a lot of customers in RFID, especially uh, ultra-high frequency. We have a group called Mulbauer, which uh, is uh, promoting that. Um, other companies that, are, are, that you well, know uh, pretty well, there's some large companies for LED out there, and they're very interested in starting to do uh, small productions with us, yes. All right, so. and Verdantic, where are you based? I'm based in Houston, Texas. So, right. and one. The, mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what's the vision? Uh, where is it going to be? All this. Well, you know, it's hard to determine, but I, I think it's going to be anywhere you see a large volume of projects or products, such as like IoT, so Internet of Things. You need a central nervous system to collect all the data, but you need lots of small sensors, and you can't spend a lot of money to do that. So you want to uh, make these things conform to the, the the surfaces, the tables, but you also want to do it inexpensively. So that's the where floor, we come in. The floor, everywhere. It has to be ubiquitous, right? Ubiquitous yeah. everywhere. There's going to be trillions of IoT yes. devices. Yes. And if you make trillions of these IoT devices, they can't cost uh, too much. Otherwise, you couldn't put them everywhere. And your method of doing is going to be the one that wins. I or think what's so. the other ones? The other ones. There's a uh, uh, additive manufacturing, right? There's printing. Maybe 3D printing would be competitive with that. Uh, the, the problem with that is the uh, the speed. I believe their speed is much slower than what we can oh, yeah? do. Yeah, you much faster. Much faster. You can do kilometers, or miles. Yeah, miles, and <laughs> we can do them all. We can do. You can all. do lots of uh, lots of these very fast and yeah. very precision is going to be good. Yeah, the precision compared to uh, I suppose printing and uh, PCB etching, the the line width you can go to is is not quite as good. 
but for most of these LED and, and antenna applications, it is more than enough. Right.